Okay, this is the egg drop challenge on Earth Day using all recycled materials. Oh, they shoot. Yeah, and a parachute. And how did you protect the egg? Starch peanuts. I'm home with a six year old, a four year old, and a three month old. And my husband is an emergency room physician. And so um, we're living a chaotic life, but really feel very fortunate. When I first met with my group after we had, had shuttered our lab, you know, very frantically, we gathered together on Zoom as a lab family and said, we have to remember that even though it seems like we're working on things that might be unrelated to this pandemic, we at least have the skills to be able to think about how we can contribute in this space. So don't feel helpless in this situation. We're experimentalists, so we spend our time in the lab. We generate big data sets and then go and analyze those. And so for various people in my team at different career stages, they have different concerns. They might have a big data set and it's perfect timing for them to be forced to, in a corner to write that up. But some of them are just brand new and don't have that. And so being thrust into this position where you don't have access to a lab anymore makes you realize the importance of the longevity of data that's already been collected. And I think this is a pretty interesting exercise for me right now because all of us are thinking about big data and how to systematize the collection of data so that a science project doesn't just end with the product that might be a patent or a manuscript, but thinking about how that can go on to inform other projects. Statistics of that. And the other cool thing that we've done is something that I'm calling T cubed. It's the Tuesday, Thursday tea. I sent everyone donuts and bagels and fruit and coffee and tea. And so they are supposed to look up who they're meeting with and bust out their coffee and tea. And they have kind of two goals to check in with each other socially and then to think about their work and ways that they can have synergy from their two projects that would potentially lead to something new and exciting. You know, this is, a, I think, a great example of the MIT spirit. Nobody's going to knock us down and keep us down and no event. And so we all kind of hunker down and say, OK, what does this mean now with my new design constraints? What can I do that's new and different? And at some point, you know, we're all going to rush back into the lab and be very excited about that. But in the meantime, we're going to try and make the best out of what we have available. And, and that'll lead to, to new and different ideas. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> yes, that's 